What's up everyone, Retro Obsessed here. Today we're gonna to be going over my entire collection of my all-time favorite video game franchise, that is Mario Kart. Today we're gonna to be going over my entire collection which consists of all the video games, all the merchandise, the cars, the toys, the accessories, board games, everything and anything we're gonna be going over. I'll also be going over some stuff about the game itself, maybe some history, and maybe some stuff you might not have known about this iconic franchise. Now I got this idea from watching my good buddy and my brother from another mother, Pac-Man Case, when he was going over his Street Fighter Collection video. I thought that was a really cool video, so I knew I had to do one with my all-time favorite franchise, which was Mario Kart. And if you are not already subscribed to him, guys, go over to him, tell him Retro Assess sent you. He's an awesome guy, amazing channel, amazing guy. I love his videos, I love his editing, just some top-notch video editing in general. Great audio, great video, just everything in general is awesome about that guy. So go over there, I will leave a link in the description below, and at the end of the video I will have a little icon so you can go over and swoop on over there and subscribe to him, tell him Retro Obsessed sent you, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you love all things retro from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, whether it's video games, music, movies, toys, anything and everything from the era, go ahead and do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button for me guys and hit that bell to be notified every time I release a new video so you don't miss it. Now, let's take a look at my entire Mario Kart collection. Let's go. Before we get into the collection guys, I thought it might be kind of cool to maybe give you guys some history about Mario Kart if you're not already familiar, which you know most people are, but if you're not, let's go over some history of how this amazing iconic franchise started. In 1992, the creator of Mario Kart, Shigeru Marimota, and a team of 8 people started with a simple plan to make a go-kart style racing game with a bunch of random men in overalls with a helmet and different colors of clothes. They soon realized the game needed some much needed pop and then started adding Mario and other characters from the Mario franchise and Nintendo franchise instead and thus in 1992 the amazing beloved franchise was born and released for the Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom systems that is known as Super Mario Kart. Let's go racing! It's Super Mario Kart Funny Car Madness! Only on Super NES! Turn the track into a giant mud pit! Or burn rubber on ice, wood, or asphalt! Fly! Mix it up with the big boys! See Bowser and his big foot dropping truck! See Yoshi's go kart really good! Go. Mushrooms, banana peels, turtle shell! Dino Might! Check your rear view and make a mean test! Or go into battle mode and ruin his day! Two speed! Fast and way too fast! It's two player fun on the split screen! Only for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System! Now when you're playing with power, Super Power! Now, let's take a look at my Mario Kart collection as far as the video games go from the oldest to the newest. Let's see. First up, we have the iconic Super Mario Kart, which was released in 1992 for the Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom. Now some people may not know this, but in 1995, Nintendo was actually going to be releasing a Virtual Boy version of Mario Kart, which was going to be called Virtual Boy Mario Kart or VB Mario Kart. But this game was actually cut short, mid-development actually, when we all know the Virtual Boy was basically a flop. I don't think it was personally a flop, I think it was an amazing... Uh, piece, but I just think it was way ahead of its time because look at everything now is in VR I just think it was ahead of its time. I personally think the Virtual Boy was an amazing machine I used to have one about five years ago, but I had ended up selling my entire collection to help pay for my dog surgery and I ended up selling off some of my really really rare stuff such as my Virtual Boy um, My my Dreamcast my Sega Saturn my Sega 32X Sega CD all that stuff and I regret it to this day But you know it is what it is, you know family comes first and most of us pets are family, so. But it is what it is. Maybe I'll come across one in the future in the wild because I actually got that one for free. It was it was actually gifted to me. But I personally think a Virtual Boy Mario Kart game would have been an absolute amazing way to play Mario Kart. All right, fast forward 
four years, in 1996, we get the release of Mario Kart 64, an amazing, revolutionary game. I actually got the Japanese N64 game on offer up. I think it was like five bucks. It was a throw in for some other Nintendo 64 games I got just because the guy knew that you can't actually play it without a Japanese Nintendo 64. I was like, okay, that's fine. I just want it basically as a shelf piece. So he gave it to me for five bucks. So that was super awesome there. So yeah, I got the, um, the North American Nintendo 64 and the Japanese Nintendo 64 games really awesome there. another five years down the road and we get our hands on the very first handheld game released for Mario Kart that is Mario Kart Super Circuit which was released for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance in 2001 Only two years have passed since Nintendo released their Super Circuit Mario Kart game for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo needed to do something to step up their Mario Kart game, and that's where this came in. So in 2003, then we got this amazing, amazing game that was released on the Nintendo GameCube, and that is Mario Kart Double Dash. Mario Kart Double Dash, some would argue that it's the best Mario Kart game in the entire franchise. Now myself, I don't think it's actually the best game in the franchise, but I do believe it's an extremely, extremely fun game. I would put it in my top three for sure uh, favorite Mario Kart games. Just another two years after Nintendo released Mario Kart Double Dash that they knew they had to up their game as always, and they introduced their second handheld version of the game, which was Mario Kart Diaz, which was released in 2005. the race from anywhere. Take on the world with Mario Kart DS and Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Rated E for everyone. Looks like things are finally gone. Here we go again. Three years after Mario Kart DS was released in 2008, we get the release of the best Mario Kart game in the franchise, in the series, in my opinion, and that is... Pause for effect. Mario Kart Wii. That's right. This is my all-time favorite Mario Kart game. I love the fact that they introduced the Wii Wheel with this game. Such an amazing, iconic piece to, uh, to be able to play the video game. Super, super fun. Some people say that the game is not as fun with the Wii Wheel and just not the regular controller. I personally think it's actually even more fun to play with the Wii Wheel myself. So, But I do know that they did make a, a steering wheel for the Nintendo Wii that you can throw onto like a little table and you can use that. I haven't used it yet, but I definitely would love to get that on my in my hands for the Mario Kart collection. I thought that'd be really cool. But yeah, the Nintendo Wii Wheel is super, super awesome. Uh, Mario Kart Wii, my all-time favorite. This little beauty end up all squidded. Look at the footage. 
How'd this one end up so tiny? Look at the footage. How'd this one get all blown up? You know what to do. Look at the footage. This weekend only, come on down and get behind the wheel. Can't make it down for a deal? Then buy Mario Kart Wii. Rated E for everyone. And just when you think Mario Kart could not get any better, three years later, Nintendo gets bigger and better, but technically smaller, with an all new handheld game, that is Mario Kart 7 for the Nintendo 3DS, released in 2011. Okay guys, we are getting down to the nitty gritty. Up next, another three years down the road after Mario Kart 7 was released, Nintendo upped the ante with their Mario Kart game released in 2014 for the Nintendo Wii U Mario Kart 8. Amazing, amazing game. Mario Kart 8, upside down test. Take four. That good. Mario Kart 8 is here and it's flipping racing on its head. You can race on walls, and even upside down. Every cart, every track, every item has been insanely tested for flippin' fun. Ooh. Mario Kart 8, only on Wii U. Rated E for everyone. I personally have not played this on the Nintendo Wii U. Why? Because I actually do not have a Nintendo Wii U. I am looking to add that console uh, to my gaming collection here in 2021. I'm hoping to get one for a good price or maybe out in the wild. People just want so much money for them. It, they're just insane. Pretty sure, you know, because they stopped making them, they stopped making games. There's a very limited run of games. But like in my neck of the woods, you cannot find one for under 200 bucks, which to me is just, is just crazy. Even for the white ones, which I heard like, are garbage but yeah Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U I do not have a Wii U but I have the game so as soon as I do find one out in the wild or for a decent price I at least I'll have a game to play for the system well guys you know the drill another three years down the road Nintendo realizes that Mario Kart 8 is virtually perfect so instead of making a new Mario Kart they just one up the Mario Kart and enhance Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Switch so that's when we got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch Mario Kart 8 Deluxe an absolute masterpiece of a game. This was enhanced and released in 2017 with all released DLC straight to the game, all the previous content added to the game, all the extra gameplay tweaks, and full resolution 1080p graphics, which revolutionized Mario Kart to the day. Super, super fun game. Definitely another on the top three. I'll let, you guys already saw my top three, my Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart Double Dash, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in my top three. Well guys, that is all for the uh, console-based video games. Now I personally believe that when Nintendo releases their Switch Pro, which I personally think they're gonna be releasing probably within the next year or two, I believe they're gonna be releasing a new Mario Kart uh, to go with the system, which is probably gonna be either Mario Kart 9 or Mario Kart 10, simply because they released a Mario Kart for the mobile. And if you haven't already played the Mario Kart mobile game, go ahead, do me a favor, pause this, go to your app store, go to your Google Play, download the Mario Kart Tour. It is an absolute blast to play. Very, very good graphics. It runs perfectly smooth for me at least. I mean, I do, I run an iPhone 11, so it runs awesome on my phone, but I have played it on other phones before and with absolutely no problems. It runs very smooth, very good graphics, super fun to play. You know, you can play multiplayer, you can play online, you can add, uh, you can add your friends to it. Super, super fun game. If you haven't already, go get that game, which to me, in my eyes, is probably would be considered Mario Kart 9, even though technically Mario Kart Tour is the 14th part of the franchise, believe it or not, which is crazy. Don't take my word for it, guys. Check out this clip from Mario Kart Tour. Mm -hmm. 
美味しい That's all as far as my current uh, video games are concerned, both console and mobile devices as well. Now, before I get into the rest of my collection, I thought it would be kind of cool to actually give you guys a little bit of history of Mario Kart and some interesting facts about Mario Kart and maybe some stuff that you about Mario Kart that you might not have known. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys, if you have heard any of this stuff before or if it's all new to you, let me know. Did you know that the evil blue spiny shell was actually added to Mario Kart 64 to stop the N64 from lagging issues. The Donkey Kong that was in the first Super Nintendo game was actually Donkey Kong Jr. himself. Mario was not the first character in the game. At first, it was just a man in overalls racing in a the cart. They then realized they needed more familiar faces in the game, so they brought in Mario and Nintendo characters to the game. Did you know in the Japanese Super Mario Kart game, Bowser and Peach actually celebrate by drinking the champagne, but they took it out of the North American version as they thought, it might not be a good look for us if the characters were drinking and driving. More than two decades later, the Mario Kart franchise is still ranked as one of the highest selling franchises in gaming history, selling over 100 million copies worldwide, with Mario Kart Wii being the top selling game in the franchise with over 30 million copies alone. All right guys, let's finish this video off with some stuff that I have in my personal Mario Kart collection that I've gotten throughout the last couple years. Everything has basically been, been hand-me-downs, uh, stuff found out in the wild, yard sales, garage sales, thrift stores, Goodwills, Salvation Army, stuff like that. Everything has been found out in the wild. Nothing has been bought brand new with the exception of one thing. Let's check it out. First up, obviously you can see the shirt I'm wearing. This is a Super Mario Kart shirt. This is actually from a Nintendo Loot Crate exclusive where you just can't buy it in the store. You have to get it in the actual Loot Crate. Lucky for me, I found it on eBay. Brand new with tags, five bucks. Could not complain there. It's a little it's a little snug around the chest, but still a really cool piece. And you know, I'll wear it ever so often. Definitely a cool item to have into the collection though. All right, up next in the collection is this Mario Kart Monopoly. Really, really awesome there. I'll show you guys there. It comes with four figures. This one is brand new sealed. Now I actually found this at Goodwill on Black Friday last year. It was five bucks, but it was at Black Friday, so everything was 50% off. So I got this brand new Monopoly Mario Kart sealed for $2.50, amazing deal there. And we have another Mario Kart Monopoly in the house that was actually opened and we actually played that as a family. So I decided to keep this one sealed. It does have a little wrinkly do there and the seal is cut a little bit there, but it's okay. It's still brand new sealed, $2.50 from Goodwill, amazing deal there. Awesome piece to have it into the collection. Up next, we have my personal piggy bank. This is the question mark piggy bank uh, made by GameStop, I believe it was. And it actually does work as I'll show you a little clip here. Really, really awesome. I've had this for over two years. I actually found this at Goodwill. I paid a buck for it. It had a pretty big dent on the top and the side, but I got all the dents out. I just got done cleaning it out yesterday because I never tested it. I just threw it on my shelf because I thought it was cool. I put batteries in it yesterday and sure enough, it worked. It was super awesome. It makes the coin sound every time you put a, um, a coin into the top of it. Super, super awesome and you can hear it's, it's got all my change in it. It holds a lot, a lot of change. Last time I did cash this in, I had close to 40 bucks, so it was really awesome. Paid a buck for this at Goodwill. Super awesome deal there. We got these two Mario Kart toys here. These cars, these are pretty cool. This is Waluigi and Shy Guy. Really awesome. Found these on OfferUp. Paid five bucks for both of them. This is really cool. It automatically saved me five bucks because these are actually $5 a piece at Walmart. So I saved five bucks. 
if I get them on offer up, awesome deal there. All right guys, next up is a little lot of toys. I'm gonna show you a video clip and some pictures. These are some toys that I found out in the wild, like I said, in the past couple years, whether it's yard sales, thrift stores, garage sales, stuff like that. Just some really cool toys, stuff to add to the collection, really cool. All right guys, up next is the Wii Wheels for both the Nintendo Wii and the Nintendo Switch. A lot of people don't know about the special edition Mario and Luigi steering wheels that were made for the Switch. Uh, now the Nintendo Wii, Steering wheel is absolutely awesome. I love this thing. It is nice and big size and big size, especially for guys that have large hands like me. It actually fits really, really nice, so you can drive it really nice. But on the other hand, the Nintendo Switch steering wheels, I think, are absolutely garbage. They are tiny. Look at how small they are compared to my hand. It's basically the size of my wrist. You can see they're very, very small. So when I'm driving it, I'm like this. It's very, very uncom uncomfortable. You can see it's just bigger than the actual Joy-Con, so it's very, very small. In my opinion, it's actually really hard to play the game like this because your hands are so small. Compared to the Wii Wheel, they're a lot more separate like this. See what I mean? But yeah, the special edition Mario Kart, Mario and Luigi uh, steering wheels for the Switch, they're really, really awesome. They're really cool to have into the collection. They're not very good to, to actually play on. Even my kids complain that they're really small, so definitely cool to have into the collection, but not cool enough to play. All right, guys, and last but not least in the Mario Kart collection is this awesome Mario Kart 8 RC car. Super, super awesome. I found this brand new in the box at Salvation Army, marked at $4.99. I took a shot on it because, hey, even if it doesn't fit, it's definitely an awesome shelf piece for five bucks. I took it home. I slapped some batteries in this. I slapped some batteries in this. You plug this into the RC car, it recognizes it and it makes it wireless so it control so this controller actually controls this vehicle and off it goes it's super super awesome it's actually really really fast believe it or not and then you put it on tile put it on anti-gravity mode and then you can see here that the wheels go sideways like that and it basically acts like a hoverboard it's super awesome guys go ahead and check out this video clip that i found for it and yeah see what see what you guys think welcome to the world of nintendo from jack specific you play the game now be the game introducing mario kart 8 anti-gravity racer the only mario kart rc that goes from kart racer to wheels up anti-gravity racer accelerate for awesome drifts hairpin turns and 360 spinning action just like in the game turn back to racer for blazing speed no one else even comes close Woohoo! let's go with world of nintendo figures you can collect them all mario kart rc other nintendo figures sold separately batteries not included. yeah and like i said guys this isn't a shelf piece i actually use this thing you can see well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see, just see how dirty this thing is. I use it all the time. Every time I go outside, when my when my uh, my kids bring their RC cars outside, I bring mine just to ride along. Like, it's not the fastest thing, but it is pretty fast considering the size and everything. But it's super cool, super awesome, very detailed. I'll show you there, really, really awesome. Very, very detailed. But yeah, the Mario Kart 8 RC car, really awesome. All right, guys, there is my entire collection of my all-time favorite franchise, which is Mario Kart. I do have a few pieces that I am on the market for this year that I'm hoping to add to the Mario Kart collection this year. So if anyone happens to maybe have one at a very, very good price, no one that is gonna go into a great collection, hit me up. And one of those items actually includes the Mario Kart steering wheel and the pedals that were made for the Nintendo Switch, which I believe was made by Hori. Very awesome piece. I did look up the specs and the steering wheel is a lot larger compared to this wheel. It's uh, actually a little bit bigger than even the Wii wheel, so I know that would be very, very awesome. It has a little clamp or suction cup. You slap it on a little table and you can play Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe that way. I thought that would be really, really cool to play, if you, even if it doesn't work very well, because I did look up the reviews. Some of them were good, some of them were bad, so it's just one of those things you would actually have to, to try yourself just to see how it is. And another thing I'm actually looking for is the inflatable Mario Kart that was made actually for the Nintendo Wii. We all know the Wii has some insane accessories and this thing is right there up there. It is an inflatable Mario Kart made for kids, but you know me, I will squeeze my fat ass into that Mario Kart and play with the actual steering wheel that actually moves and controls the car. I just thought that would be so awesome. And yes, I am looking for that and yes, I will play that thing. I would also really like to find, maybe out in the wild or for a very good price, the Carrera Mario Kart racing set. I thought that was really cool. It's just a small figure eight with the little cars, like the old school style of the 80s and 90s, where you just put the cars on the metal track and you hold the button and it goes and it goes around, just like we had as, as a kid, but now they made it, made it into a Mario Kart racetrack. I just thought that would absolutely, absolutely be cool. It doesn't take up too much space, so I have like the perfect space for it. And yeah, I just thought that would be a really cool piece to add to the collection as well. And as well as the Mario Kart 
Live home circuit for the Nintendo Switch. Super, super awesome idea that Nintendo had, and it's already going very, very well. I mean, who would have thought to put a camera on an RC car and create your own track in like your living room, in your basement, in your garage, whatever, and just use your Nintendo Switch or your portable handheld system to control the car. I just think that is absolutely amazing. The things that people are coming up with nowadays are super, super cool, but I would definitely, definitely love to add that into the collection as well and actually play that. I see videos all the time of people playing it and I just get more and more jealous every single time I do it. And it would be really cool to make like a, a stream out of it or I don't know if you can stream out of it or maybe just record and then do voiceover later on. I thought that'd be really to the YouTube as well. Make a make a cool little video out of that. I thought it'd be kind of neat. Well guys, I think that is everything that I can think of as far as my collection is going, as far as my collection once is going. Let me know what you guys thought and also let me know what is your guys' favorite Mario Kart game in the franchise series or even if you like Mario Kart or not, let me know guys, I would really like to know. And don't forget if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me guys and hit that bell to be notified of my new videos coming out. Thank you very much, have a good one and be safe out there. I am Retro Obsessed, it's an obsession. Have a good one, peace.